Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture session on infinite series and power series solution. And today's class we are going to discuss about Cauchy's root test. This is the test we are using in order to check whether the given series is convergent, divergence or not. So the Cauchy's root test which I have discussed in the last class uh, which is a series of positive terms and the limit when n tends to infinity u n whole power 1 by n is equals to l is finite then the series is convergent if l is less than 1, divergent if l is greater than 1 and test fails if L is equals to 1. So you can remember easily when L is less than 1 it is convergent, greater than 1 it is divergent and the test fails when it is equals to 1. <coughs> so the, some of the standard limits we are having which also we have discussed already that is limit when n tends to infinity n to the power of 1 upon n is equals to 1 and the second point is that limit when n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by n to the power n is e which is a standard one that is 2.7 or something and the third point is limit when n tends to infinity 1 plus x by n to the power n is equals to e to the power of x so these are the standard limits which we will be using in order to solve a problem okay so coming to the problem find the nature of c series that is sigma when n is equals to 1 to infinity a power n square into x power n a is less than 1 so whatever has been given inside the summation which can be assumed as u n where a is less than 1 and even if the summation they have not given the limits for n is equals to 1 to infinity also it is understood it is from 1 to infinity and inside the summation uh, what uh, function they have given has to be assumed as u n now Consider un as this function and raising to the power of un by 1 upon n on either side. So let's see what happens. un to the power of 1 by n if you take it will be a power n square to the power of 1 by n and x power n to the power of 1 by n. So it will become a power n square divided by n where n and n square is cancelled, you get it as a power n. And whereas in the second one, x power n to the power of 1 by n will give us x to the power of n into 1 by n, where n and 1 n 1 by n gets cancelled, we get it as x power 1, which simply can be written as x. So, u n to the power of 1 by n simplified form is a n I mean a power n into x for which we need to take the limit as n tends to infinity <coughs> so when n tends to infinity u n to the power of 1 by n we get limit as n tends to infinity a power n into x and here we can observe one thing in the initial condition uh, they have given one condition a is less than 1 so when it is less than 1 what happens it will be almost tending to 0 they have not given it as negative it is just less than 1 okay so when it is less than 1 what happens is it will be almost equals to 0 like See, when n is tending very large and when it is power is for a smaller number like 0 0.001 or something like this whole power infinity means it will be double of it that means like 
uh, to the power of like for example if we are taking uh, an n is less than 1 if we have taken and where a is also less than 1 so sorry n is infinity and uh, a is less than 1 so when we take a is less than 1 means anything between 0 to 1 we can take it supposing if you are taking it as 0 0.1 and whose power n is infinity let us take a larger number like if you are taking a n, n as 2 it will be 0 0.1 whole square we get it a whole cube if you are taking 0.1 the whole cube that is 0 0.00 like that it will come so when n is very large like n is 100 so we are getting 0 0.00000 like that we will be getting it whereas if you are taking n as very large as infinite then it is 0 0.00 so many zeros almost it is tending to zero and which is less than one because when a n is tending to zero as n is tending to infinity since a is less than one now we can conclude that by cauchy's root test u n is convergent <coughs> Because it is less than 1. The limit is less than 1. Second problem. Test for convergence. Summation. N is equals to 1 to infinity. N plus 1 divided by N. The whole square, whole power N square. Uh, into 1 divided by 3 power N. Where U N is. Uh, inside the summation as I told you. Uh, N plus 1 divided by N. The whole to the power N square into 1 divided by 3 power n so un rise to the power 1 by n what was our un n plus 1 by n the whole power n square into 1 by 3 power n now to the power of 1 by n if we take we get n plus 1 divided by n the whole power n and 1 by 3 so here it is n square is there so n we will be getting it as per the Cauchy's root test, we will take the limit as n tends to infinity on either side. When we take the limit on either side, when n tends to infinity, n plus 1 divided by n the whole power n into 1 upon 3. And in the uh, beginning, we have discussed what will be the limit when n tends to infinity, 1 plus 1 by n to the power n. So, it will be e. And uh, E value is uh, 2 point something and divided by 3. So, when it is divided by 3, we are getting 0 0.9 which is also less than 1. Therefore, we can conclude that it is convergent. Let's see for the next question. Test for convergence. 1 plus 1 upon root n to the power minus n power 3 by 2. So, we can consider the un as because it is minus n is power is minus n is there. So, we can take it to the denominator. So, 1 upon 1 plus 1 by root n to the power n to the power 3 by 2. Or when it is raised to the power of 1 by n, uh, it will be like uh, 1 divided by 1 plus 1 by root n to the power of root n we will get it since uh, we will take a limit on either side what happens is when n is tending to infinity and also we know that uh, 1 plus 1 by n to the power of n is e therefore 1 plus 1 by uh, root n to the power of root n when n is tending to infinity also becomes e that is 1 upon e because that term is in the denominator and E value is uh, 2 point something. 1 upon 2.7 if you are doing it will be 0 0.367 which is lesser than 1. Once again this is also a convergent series. Second one. Test the, the next problem. Test the convergence of un is equals to n square divided by 2 power n. Instead of giving in the summation form they have given directly as uh, un. Okay, now un is equals to uh, n square divided by 2 power n that we will consider and raising to the power of 1 by n as it is 
n square divided by 2 power n the whole power 1 upon n is n power 2 by n divided by 2. Taking the limits as n tends to infinity on either side, we get limit n tends to infinity u n power 1 by n as limit n tends to infinity n power 1 by n whole square. We can write n power 2 by n as n power 1 by n the whole square divided by 2. And uh, this will be equals to half. So again it is lesser than 1. Hence by the Cauchy's root test it will be a convergent. Let us see the next one. Test for the convergence of sigma n plus 1 the whole power n into x power n by n power n plus 1 where un is considered as this one. So now what happens n plus 1 the whole power n into x power n divided by n power n plus 1 and when it is raised to the power of 1 by n that power will go for both numerator that is n plus 1 power n also will go and x power n also will go it will get cancelled. And in the denominator, we get n power 1 plus 1 by n, which can be also written as n plus 1 divided by n into 1 divided by n power 1, 1 by n into x. And let us take the limit as n tends to infinite. When we take the limit as n tends to infinity, and we can take it in the numerator, that is 1 plus 1 by n divided by n to the power of 1 by n and 1 by n means when n is tending to 0 it will, when n is tending to infinity 1 by n will be tending to uh, 0 so 1 divided by the denominator also it will become 1 is x we are getting the value as x so what to do now it is convergent if it is less than 1 it is divergent if it is greater than 1 and the test fails if x is equals to 1. So, in this problem, we are not exactly getting the value of x but we are getting it as x. Depending on the value of x, we can decide whether it is a convergent one or a divergent or the test fails. So, here is the conclusion. Thank you. Please come back with the doubts.